was the Girl Scout myself when I was growing up in, in Paraby. Uh, I also went to Girl Scout camp in Millinocket for two years. Camp Natarsui. Have any of you ever been to Camp Natarsui? A few of you have. So did you climb Mount Katahdin? No. 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 <laughs> well, that's what we did, and I remember it very well because we spent the night in lean tubes at Chimney Pond, and it absolutely poured. Uh. I remember that very well. So we didn't get to the very top. We went to, I think it was called Kamala Peaks or something, but there was an interim place that we went. And, uh, but it was a lot of fun. I loved Girl Scout camp. And I loved being a Girl Scout. I was a member of a junior troop. How many of you are junior? Quite a few. And how many brownies do we have? There, just like a here, and that's quite cute. Now, I wanted to fly up and be a cadet, but unfortunately in Caribou when I was growing up, there was no cadet troop. So I aged out of Girl Scouts, essentially. Uh, but I really enjoyed it, and I believe that Girl Scouts build strength, and result in strong women. So I think it's a great thing to belong to a great organization. Now you may be aware that there's a special commemorative coin that Congress passed for the Girl Scouts 100th anniversary. And I was the author of the legislation at the request of the Girl Scouts in the Senate. And that bill became law. And I was invited to the White House for a signing ceremony, uh, as you know. And uh, the president signed it into law in the Oval Office, and that was very exciting. So I'm going to give you a brief quiz on Girl Scouts. Uh, who was the founder of the Girl Scouts? Yes. Excellent. Very, very good. Very, very good. Uh, does anyone know where her house is? <laughs> Very good. Very good. That's a great thing to know. I'm just going to spread it around a little bit here. That's wonderful. And uh, who knows the Girl Scout? Oh. Very good, excellent. That was good. That was very close. That was excellent. That's great. Now, are any of your troops involved in special projects that you'd like to tell me about? Could, could you tell me about it? Is it the 
And what's the video about? just want to tell you one final thing. As many of you may know, or some of you know, I grew up in Caribou, way up in northern Maine, and it was an absolutely wonderful place to grow up. It's still a wonderful community where much of my family still lives. But when I was your age, I had no idea that one day I would get to represent the state of Maine in the United States. You know, there are only 100 people in the Senate, two from each state. And when I was selected to the Senate in 1997, I was only the 15th woman in all of history to be elected in her own right. There have been others who have been appointed, but as far as being elected. And three of those 15 women were from the state of Maine. So I think that's something we can be really proud of. Isn't that great? So it was Margaret Chase Smith and Olympia Snow and myself. And when I was your age, it was Margaret Chase Smith who was representing me in the United States Senate. I got to meet her when I was a senior in high school. That was the first time that I came. Washington. It was the first time I ever met 
a United States Senator. It was the first time I ever flew on an airplane. It was pretty exciting for me. And I just want you to know that if I can go from the halls of Caribou High School to the chambers of the United States Senate, that you really can do whatever you want to do. And Girl Scouts are an excellent participant uh, preparation for whatever you want to do in life. It teaches you to stand tall for what you believe in, it teaches you the importance of serving others, and it teaches you to be honest and act with integrity. And that's one reason I'm such a fan of the Girl Scouts. So I'm really happy that you're here to help celebrate the centennial of the Girl Scouts, and I wish you all the best. And remember to always follow your dreams.